I like my brain to be busy. I mean, that's when I'm happiest. When my brain's busy, I'm trying to solve something. My first two years of school, I got all my nursing prereqs, and then right before I applied to nursing school, I just like, nah. <laughs> studying wildlife biology at West Texas A&M University. I don't have any student loans so far, and I would have to take out student loans for an apartment. I was looking at the rent around uh, Canyon, and I mean, that was real expensive. I researched about the volunteer opportunities, and I just came across being a park host. In the description, it says you can keep your camper up there. You get a camp spot for while you're working. And so I was like, hmm, that's interesting. I looked up the distance between here and my school, and it wasn't bad. It was like 10 minutes. Everybody was like, thought I was crazy. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to go live in a camper? Cheetos doubling as cheese. Don't judge me, amount of cheese slices. <laughs> I mean, I was really fortunate that my grandparents let me use their camper. Since it's just me and my dog and my snake, it's really all the space we need. It's a great way to go through college. Lindsay is a little different. She's at a totally different end of the spectrum than what we typically see in our Park Host program. We have some regular folks that volunteer with us. Park hosts are staffed in each one of our camping loops. Hackberry to headquarters with a site count. Go ahead. You can't have or expect park staff to be on site 24 hours a day in a camping loop. But with park hosts, they can be there. Morning, folks. How are you? You know, you have required site counts. Come up and register. Are you leaving today? No, we'll be here one more night. And then you're responsible for keeping the bathroom stocked and clean. Okay, dear, it's all clear. They're shorthanded. There's no way to fill that gap other than with volunteer services. And sir, what's your name? My name's Kent. Ken America. Eric, we are the well, best and the first and the most available point of contact for campers. Through that intersection, then you'll see another little intersection right there. There's a lot of stuff that, that we could not do as successfully without our volunteers. Most of them, I would say, are uh, retirees, and they do everything from keeping their restroom and their loop clean, to helping at the gatehouse, to helping with interpretive programs, and if they have special skills, then we make extra. use of that too. They need more projects to do anyway. You know, we didn't start out really intending it to be like an internship, but yeah, the experiences yeah. that she's gaining is very much like in, one. You know, in she's just starting her working life, so she just has a little different perspective on things. The primary use for that property is Lindsay is not jaded by some of the boundaries of life, you know, that some people know because of their experiences. She knows no bounds at this point. That's contagious. So it's been wonderful for my staff for her to just be here. It's a job that you don't hate. <laughs> You're not like, ah, oh, I gotta go to work, you know? I will work out in the field if they need me there. If they don't really need me anywhere at the moment, I just kind of figure out something that needs to be done with the park, like either uh, pick up trash or help clean out one of the camp loops, clean bathrooms, stuff like that. I mean, I prefer this over working somewhere else. I lived in an apartment before this, in a house, in an apartment. Never lived in a camper. <laughs> it is a little challenging balancing everything. Sometimes you get sightseers in the park, and if I was running late to class or something, then <laughs> I might be a little extra late after that. As I've gone along through the semester, I've been balancing it better. Good time management skills, yeah. Remember with waterfowl, we had how many flyways? I would really like to be a wildlife biologist. I've I mean, learned a lot from just living out here. 
and it's relaxing in some ways and it's exciting at the same time. I thought, you know, it was too good to be true. You get to live at a beautiful place, be a part of something bigger than yourself. You feel right at home.